Even before there was a state of Israel, there was the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, the cornerstone of the nation's progress, a dynamic, evolving symbol of Israel's determination and courage. Founded in 1918 by brilliant leaders and thinkers, among them Albert Einstein and Sigmund Freud, Hebrew University was established to fulfill the needs of an emerging Jewish state. Hi, I'm Jason Alexander. Israel is a very special place for me and my family. And for the past 80 years, Hebrew University has worked to create Israel's strong, self-sufficient economy and to produce leaders vital to the nation's growth. Like Israel itself, the university has overcome complex challenges in order to achieve greatness. An academic powerhouse, the university produces 40% of Israel's research. Hebrew University professors and alumni have won five Nobel Prizes in four years. Professor Robert J. Alman, co-recipient of the 2005 Nobel Prize in Economics, is among these honored scientists. Throughout the decades, American friends have been partners in these remarkable achievements, establishing scholarships, fostering cutting-edge research, and building for the future. American friends affirm the highest ideals for which civilization and the Jewish people are known. When Hebrew University opened on Mount Scopus in 1925, three institutes were launched, chemistry, microbiology, and Jewish studies. In 1942, Israel's first and only Faculty of Agricultural Food and Environmental Quality Sciences opened in Rehovot. The goal? Transforming desert into arable land. Following the outbreak of the War of Independence in 1948, Mount Scopus became an enclave in Jordanian-occupied territory. Classrooms and libraries were relocated throughout Jerusalem. Progress did not cease. To fulfill Israel's medical needs, the Ain Karim campus was established with faculties of medicine and dental medicine. In 1955, ground was broken in the hills of Givat Ram. The Edmund J. Safra campus has since become a major scientific nucleus. When the Mount Scopus campus reopened after the Six-Day War, Jewish studies gained a permanent home, as did the humanities, social sciences, and law. Colorado Judge Murray Richtel is a visiting professor at the Faculty of Law. He delights in the caliber and diversity of his students. They're really wonderful students. They're mature, they're diverse, and what's amazing is how hard they work in the context of the hard life that they have otherwise. Today, 24,000 students are enrolled on four campuses. They come from throughout Israel and 70 additional countries. 50% receive financial aid, among them Natalia Gordinsky, whose scholarship is enabling her to achieve what she calls the Jewish dream of higher education. I felt from the first year that this is like my real home. I never got any criticism about having accents. Uh, on the contrary, I always got the impression that they are proud of me. They also made it clear that my point of view, my Russian-speaking background is extremely important for Hebrew University and for these departments. Hebrew University is a comprehensive institution of higher learning, yet each campus has its own distinctive profile. On Mount Scopus, the Rothberg International School welcomes exchange students from top universities in the United States and other countries. The Faculty of Law educates Israel's leaders, from presidents and prime ministers to members of the Knesset and the Supreme Court. Dedicated to the precepts of democracy and human rights is the School for Public Policy, Ambassador Ephraim Halevi, former head of Israel's Mossad, directs its Center for Strategic and Policy Studies. Ambassador Halevi offers two reasons why the school is Israel's training ground for diplomats, strategists, and government leaders. First of all, because I think this is uh, the oldest established university, and uh, if I may say so, I believe that the concentration of uh, brain power in this university is probably the biggest concentration of brain power in the country. Secondly, because this is the capital of Israel and we are near the seat of power. The Harry Truman Research Institute for the Advancement of Peace conducts joint research and public forums that promote mutual understanding. Jewish studies resources are unsurpassed. Scholars expand our knowledge of Jewish culture, history, and intellectual traditions in ways that keep this precious heritage relevant, meaningful, and preserved for all time. 
On the Edmund J. Safra campus, demand for admission to master's and PhD programs steadily rises. New science teaching labs will benefit new generations of high-tech innovators and entrepreneurs. Yisum, the university's development arm, patents new discoveries crucial to Israel's economy and to Jerusalem's well-being. Interdisciplinary fields such as bioinformatics and nanoscience flourish. Dr. Natalie Balaban, who recently joined the Raqqa Institute of Physics, has a pioneering specialty that combines biology and physics. It's very clear that the major part of the scientific work done in Israel comes from the university. In, in the field I was in before, the semiconductor science, and in this new field I can see that the Hebrew University is certainly one of the leading places, not only in Israel, but in the world. Ain Karim, home to the Faculty of Medicine, which produces the heads of Israel's hospitals and public health services. Molecular biologist Dr. Nayef Jarus conducted his postdoctoral work at Yale. He praises the important links between basic and applied research at Ain Karim. There is a cooperation between the scientists here doing basic science and the physicians, the doctors in the hospital. And in many cases, you have this crossing between the, our research, which, which is very fruitful. In Rehovot, the Faculty of Agricultural Food and Environmental Quality Sciences addresses urgent problems of world hunger and water scarcity. Here, scientists develop the drip irrigation techniques responsible for the greening of Israel and the lushness of its export products. At the Robert H. Smith Institute of Plant Sciences, boosting crop quality, thwarting pestilence, and ensuring clean water supplies are paramount goals. International students flock to Rehovot, where they learn how to create sustainable environments, especially in climates similar to Israel's. The Hebrew University, it is really a renowned university in the world. The Koret School of Veterinary Medicine is the only facility of its kind in the entire Middle East. Animal health care is improved through a focus on modern specialties, such as oncology, genomics, and neuroscience. For 80 years, American friends have supported visionary activities at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. We've witnessed miracles and helped to make some of them happen. To be an American friend is to feel enormous pride as scientists and scholars pave the way for discovery and innovation. Israel benefits, so do we, and so does the entire world. Yeah.